Can you describe your own designs for time traveling? Gladly. The difficulty with long-duration space-time trips is the airlessness of outer space, but this is only a difficulty for the physical, biological body. Therefore, if one wants to bring their body along on a trip through hyperspace or through time, they will need a ship. My own schematics for such a ship are of a lenticular, disc-shaped design for a saucer about 20 meters, 65.6 feet, in diameter. It has cockpit seating for three and hypersleep pods for three, allowing a possible crew of up to six. It has three decks, the lowest being a cargo bay, the middle being the engineering and habitat ring, and the top being the cockpit. The engine consists of an electromagnetic tube torus, inside of which is a metal sphere, inside of which, floating in a solution, is a geode, which appears to serve as the ship's onboard navigational computer system. The ship's propulsion system consists of three gyroscopes housed at the centers of toroidal electromagnetic coils. Fiber optic-like wires comprise the rest of the ship's interior, connecting every component to every other and serving as both a Faraday cage, protecting the occupants from electromagnetic radiation outside of as well as generated by the craft, and as a means of breaking the craft gradually by dispersing absorbed Cherenkov radiation, thus generating an inertial damper field. The interface panels of the cockpit are entirely functional, are entirely functionally useless in the absence of a telepathic pilot able to activate the craft. I never intend to pilot this device myself. I just think it's an interesting thought experiment, at least. There are, of course, easier ways to transport one's physical biological body across a vast duration of time if one does not need to contend with the airless vacuum of outer space. For example, if one can construct a portal device to open a stable wormhole between any given location, the here and now, and any other location, some other place and or time, one can effectively poke a hole through the time barrier and begin moving freely between one place in space-time and another through this time tunnel. Given possession of such a device, the most logical use of it would apparently be, as I once mentioned to Peter Moon, to construct the past to fortify the future. In other words, I would suggest opening a large enough time tunnel portal to Western Antarctica some 4.2 million years ago to establish a firm base at that location and time to serve as a way station for the development of other similar deep underground bases and to act as a spaceport and outpost for further time travel research. These other distant, uh, these other bases established in the distant past could be strategically abandoned to be rediscovered at random intervals by subsequent evolving peoples, only to be forgotten again and lost to time until eventually someone would finally understand their purpose and use them to develop time travel technology in order to go back to the past and create them to begin with. Again, I have no interest in carrying all this out, even if I could. I just think it is an interesting premise for a plot line, and so I am working to develop it into a strategic time travel themed RPG. Doesn't that sound fun? <laughs>